Hello, family, and thank you for coming by the channel tonight. Yes, and I want to say, Woo, child, I walked 15 minutes on my treadmill, child. And you talking about my hips are so, child, I could barely get up those steps to come take a bath. Whew, and I just sat there in the tub. <laughs> I just sat there in the tub, y'all. Just trying to figure out, Lord, how I get so big. How did I get so big? How did the years pass and I not look at myself? Hell, was I depressed all that time? I don't know, but I'm a work in progress and I'm saying thank you, hallelujah. Okay, that I am trying to get it together, all right? I ain't down and out. So long as there's breath in my body, I can move my limbs. I'm going to get up there and exercise every day, okay? Even if it ain't number five minutes, but I don't got the 15, so y'all pat me on the back, y'all hug me, give me kisses, and continue to motivate me. Because I'm telling you, when I come home from work, I don't be wanting to exercise, shoot. Woo, honey, I just be wanting to take off my clothes, rest a minute, think about my bath, come YouTube, say my prayers, read my Bible, and go to bed, honey. And exercise ain't have nowhere in that, uh program that i was running for myself but i have to do right i have to do right but we're gonna be talking about tyler perry tonight guys yes we are didn't know we're gonna have to throw up some prayers for his nephew who died in jail they trying to say it was a jail thing i guess trying to put it on the protectors of the law not actually watching him like he was a suicidal threat or something or was it a sacrifice? Yes, honey. Tyler Perry family kind of upset. They want some answers. And they looking at investigating the situation. Now, I'm getting this piece from uh, a vlogging site called Source. Uh, or thesource.com. So, check them out. They trend on social media. They write up. Write up all types of commentaries on celebrities. And this article was written today by somebody called, let me see, N.D. Smith. Yes, N.D. Smith. Go check them out at thesource.com, okay? But they give us a title called Tyler Perry's Family is Questioning His Nephew's Suicide While in Jail, Especially After Being Disciplined from a Fight Days Before. So evidently... The nephew was in jail already. And you would think with the money that Tyler Perry has, it should have been something that he could have got the young man out of jail and he just served time, you know, like home arrest or house arrest or something to that nature, depending on the infraction that he may have gotten into. But let's go on and get into the story and try to read and, and find our edification and definitely still throw up prayers for uh, their loved one who is transitioned. Horrible way to go. But like I said, we really don't know the ins and outs. Now, who are these men with Tyler Perry? They're kind of strange looking, aren't they? And of course, Tyler Perry, if you didn't know, now you know. I'm giving you signs to look at and for you all to find your own edification if you think you're a part of the elite, okay? And when I'm talking about the elite, y'all should know what I'm talking about by now, okay? I'm giving you visuals. Put two and two together and make your own judgment. And all these women that's going around here, sitting up there putting their hands on their hips to let their backbone slip, y'all remember that? But just the whole figuration of them putting their hands on their hips, they making a V side, and it's pretty much giving... Uh, praise and worship to Almighty Satan. Okay, that's how they get down. Do your edification, do your research, then you understand what I'm saying. Okay, and that little hand gesture that Spike Lee is doing, that's just another Masonic type. I'm in the group, I'm in the elite following type of situation. And you know for a fact, Beyonce and Jay-Z really get down. They do what they with all day long, okay? But they don't come out for just in and everybody, and especially not to Atlanta. So what they tell you, okay? Tyler Perry, when he opened up his new studios, all his CNI folks was there. Those who get me when I'm saying what I'm saying, hear me clearly. Those who see in the visuals, hear it clearly. And don't think they ain't cloning some human beings around him. I'm just saying, have you heard of doppelgangers around here? Get into it, all right? I'm just saying. But anyway, 
<coughs> excuse me, he's throwing up that knee hand sign right there, like the Spock. You remember Star Trek? They were doing that thing. Check it out. I gave y'all some visuals on that. But let's just get on into the story, okay? I just thought I'll just get y'all into the groove of what I was talking about. And all them men right there, they're a part of it too. But anyway, it says 2020 has come in like a ravishing storm, breaking hearts all over the place by taking some of our most beloved influencers. We send our condolences to all the family of those celebrities that we know like Kobe Bryant and Gianna, his daughter, Pop Smoke, Jeanette, or Janet Du Bois, you know, she played Winona on Good Times, Katherine Johnson, and most recently our beloved B. Smith. Woo, they taking them out like it ain't nobody's business, okay? Some of them are dying on natural death, but hmm, those who have eyes to see, know what I'm talking about. Those who have ears to hear. Okay, bingo. But anyway, going back to the article, it's not my, that was my sidebar. It says, but we have recently heard about the death of Tyler Perry's nephew, Gavin Porter, on Tuesday, February 25th. He committed suicide while being in prison in a union, union parish jail in Louisiana. Porter was only 26 years old. Now, my thing, look at all that behind Tyler Perry. Okay, look at all them symbols. Now, was it truly a suicide, guys? In jail, probably being watched. Louisiana, the bayou. Hmm. Okay. And he just happily wrapped himself up or whatever, and they found him hanging. <sighs> so we can look at it two ways, family. We could say it was a natural death. We could say he committed suicide. Or we could say it was a sacrifice. Which one y'all think? Holly weird, holly weird, holly weird. Got Tyler Perry name written all over it. And maybe it was his time to do something. As in a, a, a sacrificial type of uh, offering. You know what I'm saying? But that's not in this article. We're going back to the... And the one that he was making was more so like this one. On his knee back then. But check it out. I'm sure to uh, play back. And you see 369. Those are in the numerology. Look that up. Okay. What God made for good. Satan and his worshipers make for bad. Okay. Because God don't need symbols. He don't need anything for you to. No picture. No nothing. He just is. You know how he say I am. That's all he needs. I am. Okay. He don't need nothing explaining him. But getting back to the article, it says, according to Union Parish Sheriff's Office media liaison, Johnny Gunther, he died around 8.30 p.m. Hmm, 8.30, okay, p.m. His body was found swinging in his cell. He had recently been disciplined on Saturday for a fight with other inmates over the weekend. Authorities are currently investigating Saturday night's fight and have sent porters to uh, Little Rock, Arkansas for an autopsy. In 2017, Porter had pleaded guilty in the 21st Judicial District Court at Amite in St. Helen Parish to a charge of manslaughter. Reports say that he was originally charged with second-degree murder. According to the sources close to the family, they suspect foul play. Now, I'm like, foul play on whose part, family? Tyler Perry's part? The government part, the judicial, meaning the law part, or other parties that we don't know about. Which part are we talking about? That is the question. Now, y'all hear what I thought. Yep, and look at those signs on the back of those walls. They have things, I'm telling y'all, planted in plain sight, but you just take it for granted. You don't think about it. But when you go back with an observation eye, you can keen in on a lot of different things that were there. You just wasn't paying attention or you didn't know what to look for. Okay, but anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Would y'all call it a natural death, suicidal, or sacrificial type offering? Or was it just a fluke of a situation? Okay. Let me know. Y'all know how I feel about it. Now I want to hear what you all say. The fam I'm talking about it. Get into those comments. Let me know. Let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. Okay. And I'll see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe. 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 As usual. Thank you fam. And as uh, always. Thank you for coming to our channel. 
uh, interacting with me, sharing and liking my videos. Yes, because you know, I got to have y'all opinion. There is no me without you. There is no you without me. Okay, and I will uh, gossip time. But I will see you guys next video. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>